So, Hostinga Horizons versus AI Website Builder. Which is better? In this video, we're going to discuss that. So first of all, I've got the tutorials on both of them. It's going to appear at the end. There will be a playlist on the right. You can check out all my tutorials on both of them. So I'm currently on the Horizons page and this is a new update that they just came out with and it's an early access. So what this does is you create web apps with a prompt. You can also create websites and you can create a fitness app and a lot more. So it has a 30 day money back guarantee. And if I scroll down, you can also connect this with a super base. I've got a tutorial on that as well. You can add login functionalities and such. So this is quite different from the website builder because in website builder, you get only the ability to make a website. You can create a website with the AI. And it's like a basic website with the e-commerce functionality. And if you go over to their pricing plans over here, this is 19.99 and goes all the way up to 199.99. And if you look over there to their features, they've got this 100 messages available inside the starter plan, which I've got currently. And if you get this one, you also get the AI website builder. But if you get the AI website builder, you choose one of their hosting plans. And then in those hosting plans, they've got this AI website builder inside it. But you can also select the plans from here. But if you get any of the hosting plans, I'm sure they don't have this horizons included in it. So you need to buy it separately from here. So what happens is when you select a plan from here, you're going to get the hosting horizons, but you're also going to get the hosting. So this hosting is included one month free. This is a business hosting plan that they provide you with business web hosting. So if I go over to my websites here, I can show you that this is what it is. This is business web hosting and this is included in all of them. So it's one month free and it's the same business web hosting in all of these. So you're paying this and I'm not sure why they just include the business web hosting and not cloud web hosting for the pro plan or hustler plan. With these, you're just increasing the messages here. That's what happens and hosting you need to renew. So it's going to add up on top of your plan. So if you get $19.99 plan, it will renew at $19.99. That's fine. But after the one month is over and you renew it, you need to pay $13.99 on top of your $19.99. That's what's going to happen. And same for here in the pro plan. If you pay $199.99, you're going to pay $13.99 on top of it. So that thing is there and there's 30 day money back guarantee. Also, I don't think you can get it for yearly. You need to get this in monthly plan. Now for the messages, these are hundred messages. These are how many times you can prompt the AI per month. So when you go over to hosting a horizons inside it, when you give it a prompt here, you start interacting with it. You give a prompt and you get a app out of it, right? And whenever you message it is going to take in one credit. So I will go inside one of these. This is the web app that I built with Superbase. So it's going to retain all these data inside it. People can log in and log out from here and they can add the workout and such. I've got a tutorial on it. You can check it out. Now you, you have to go back and forth with the AI inside it. It's not going to be that you will message it once and you're going to make an app out of it. No, that's not going to happen in the first go. You need to keep messaging it again and again to get your app to look perfect. So like the starting was just a simple app and the ad workout was not working. This button was not working. And I had to tell it first that this is the project URL, this is the key in Superbase. And then it started connecting with it. I had to run this in the SQL editor inside Superbase. No login sign up working please fix it because the login and sign up was not working so i had to do that and each time you do this it's going to take in one credit out of your total balance from here so if you're exhausted you have to upgrade the plan on the right hand side let's say i want to edit it manually let's say i've created this app and i want to edit it right you cannot do that like you cannot just select something inside it right click edit it like you do in ai website builder you know, do that. You have to ask the AI to do it. 
if you want to make changes to something inside the app. For example, if you want to make change this text, you need to ask it to change the text. Change text, recent workouts to hi YouTube. And it's going to automatically check in the app where this is written and it's going to change it. So I'm going to show you live on the video. And our app has been built. And now, as you can see, we've got this change from that other text to hi YouTube. Now, this is how to change it. And this works very similar to if you know about NVIDIA AI. NVIDIA AI also has this feature to edit with the help of AI, the videos with the help of AI. So you can edit your videos by just giving a prompt, like I want to change something or I want to add subtitles to the video. So it works very similar to that. It's like NVIDIA AI for web apps. You can build web apps with AI and inside in video, you're building, you're editing videos with AI that way. Once you're done with this, you can publish it and then you can connect your domain with it and such. That's what it is inside here. What if I want to upload my image inside the app? Let's say I want to add my image or some image that I've got. I want to add it as a background for this, how to do that, right? So what you can do is you can click on this first one, upload file, you can put an image inside it, and then you can ask the AI to add that as a background of your app. And it's going to do that. I've done something similar inside this app. And what I did was I asked it to add two of my images that I got from Pixabay. So if I sign out, you can see here, that I've got this. And if I click on sign up, you can see this other image for the sign up. So that's what you can do with the upload file section. So that was for pricing of hosting horizons and what you could do inside it and such a little demo. And if you want a full guide, you can check it out on the playlist. Now for the website builder, this is much better. If you, if you just want to build a website, a simple website with an e-commerce functionality, and an AI website builder. So it's and a website builder because if you want to like edit it, you want to add your stuff inside it, you want you want the functionality of moving things around, editing it yourself and not with the AI. It's much better that way. I mean, if you want, you can also build your website with the hosting of horizons. I've got one built. I'm going to show you if I go into new project and I can ask it to make a modern landing page by clicking on this button. And it's going to create a landing page out of it with just a simple prompt. But what this does is, is it creates a really nice landing page, which looks like custom built. Instead, if you go over to AI website builder, you get a website which looks kind of similar if you look at every other website out there. So that's one thing. But you need to like keep on messaging the AI to make changes to the things inside it. And it it becomes very hectic because because when you like make one change and it gives you an error, then you need to, then you need to ask the AI to do it again. So that's the issue with it. And I've also created this task manager here. Here you can add tasks to it change different the categories, priority, change the date, etc. I've also added the emoji picker and the color selector, and it works fine. The search tasks also works. So I can just do something like this. And as you can see, it works. I can also delete it from here. The thing is, if you are using this to build a website, this is for advanced users, even if you are commanding the AI to do it, because it's going to take a lot of your time. And if you are like a person who just want one simple website and you want to have it work perfectly, you can just go for the AI website builder. And this is built and I'm going to show you how it looks like. Just look at it. It looks, it looks fine. It looks better than the AI website builder actually, because you've got these animations. This looks like it's built in, let's say, Webflow. You've got the pricing pages as well. And I know that it's glitching out here, but whenever this happens, you can just ask the AI to, like, you can just say, okay, it's glitching on the screen. It keeps on repeating it. You can just ask the AI to correct it. And it's going to do that. Now, this is like this. It's a one page Templates, so I can just click on these to go to those sections. If you want, you can ask it 
to make a new page and connect it with features. And that way, if you click on features, it's going to go to that new page and not just scroll down to that section. All that is possible. You can also build a dashboard inside it and connect it with Superbase. And those things are possible inside this. So yes, that's possible, but it's going to take a lot of time. Now, if I go over to website builder, go inside here, go to like websites list, and you can click on this add website and you got these WordPress hosting horizons and the hosting a website builder. You can click on this to get started with the hosting a website builder. And I'm just going to click on this edit website to show you how it works and uh, why I think that it's much better for you if you are just starting out and you just want a simple website. Now you can also go for WordPress, but I wouldn't advise you to go for WordPress because even me, I have like wasted a lot of time on uh, WordPress websites. It just is a lot of hassle. You, you would find that one day you would get a lot of spam signups and the other, other day you would have other issues. Like you might get plugin defects. One plugin would not work with the other plugin or because you, you need to update all your plugins. Otherwise it's not going to work. And there might be a white screen of death. There's a lot more issues inside WordPress. So I've seen that many people are moving away from WordPress. You could also use fourth wall and there, there are many other options, but if you're looking for Hostinger, I would suggest going for hosting a website builder. Now, if I go to edit website here, it's going to take me over to the web builder like this. And this is how most of the websites would look like if you make them with the AI website builder. Now, instead of going for WordPress and using WooCommerce inside it, which takes up a lot of your RAM. So if you use a VPS or a shared hosting, you're going to find that it takes, it hogs up a lot of your resources. So over here, you can like go to these different sections. You've also got the shop functionality. So inside it, you can add to bag and such. So if I click on preview, I can add this to bag. So if I go over to the temporary domain over here, you can connect it to a custom domain as well. So if I click on this, I can go over to that temporary domain over here and I can go to shop. I can click on one of them add to bag and it takes you over to the checkout page and the the customer can add a discount code change the shipping destination etc and it just works that's the thing if you just want to make it work and not want to have the headache of going back and forth with the ai this hostinger ai website builder is much better you can just go for it, continue here add the email, all the details here. And then after you click on continue again, if you have connected the payment processors, that is Stripe and PayPal, is going to prompt the user for that. And they can connect, they can pay and you get the money. So if we compare this with the hosting horizons, you would need to ask it to add the functionality of Stripe or maybe add the functionality of PayPal. But for those, it's not going to work suddenly. You would need to connect with the API. So you would need to know about where to find those API keys and such. So we need to go inside the Stripe website and inside the dashboard, you will need to find where the API key is and just like this, if you're just starting out, you would know that you would, you would suddenly feel like it's too much effort, right? So instead of that, you could just go for the website builder and inside here in the manage store, you can go for the add a payment method, go inside it. And in the store manager, you're going to find the PayPal and Stripe, and you can also accept the manual payment. So you just need to click on start here it's currently managed because i d clicked on it before so i can click on manage again and i can finish setup and it's going to take me over to the connect page again of stripe and you just need to onboard on stripe and connect it with the hostinger website builder and once it's done you can click on save and your account will get connected to hostinger website builder and then you can take payments from your customers.
And that was very simple, right? So that's what it is. And the ability to make changes to by just clicking on things is much better than commanding an AI to make changes to your app. If you're just starting out and you're a beginner, you can you also got these AI tools inside it. The blog writer, so you can create blogs inside this, add new blog posts and such. You also got the ability to change uh, different languages. This is not auto language translator, it's uh, manual. You need to make changes to it yourself, but still it's there. They also have an AI image generator inside this. You can add elements. You can just drag and drop things inside here. So it doesn't work here. So I'm going to click on add a blank section and then click on add elements, add it, and it works just like that. You just have to drag and drop things inside these sections and move them around like that. So it's a very visual editor compared to prompting the AI to add an Instagram feed inside your app and such. So if you're using it for website building, I would highly recommend going for hosting a website builder instead of hosting a horizons. But if you're using it for an app, then you can go for horizon because it has much more complex capabilities of handling an app. Like you can build a task manager, you can build a to-do list app, a fitness app like I showed you before, and add login functionalities with a super base and a lot more. Uh, so at the end, I would suggest you go for hosting our AI website builder. If you are just a beginner and you want a simple website like this, and you want to accept payments from your customers and you want the ability to change things inside it yourself, have a visual editor, etc. And uh, if you are looking for an app builder, then you can go for the Horizon, hosting the Horizons. You can build an app. You can also build a website again. That's fine, but it's not very intuitive. And I'll say it again. It's like in video AI, it's similar to that, but you're building apps inside it. And for in video AI, you're editing videos. So that's what it is. So yeah, now you know which is better for you. If you found this video helpful, let me know with a like and comment. And I've got tutorials on both of these. You can check it out at the end. And there will be a pop-up that's going to appear at the right-hand side. You can click on them and uh, check it out. I've got the full guide on it and multiple short videos as well. Also, if you found this video helpful and you go through my link and buy any of these paid plans on these websites, it's going to help me with a small commission. So that's it. Uh, head over to the playlist, check out my other videos and see you there.